And boom, welcome to Deep Freeze Year 8 Season 4. Uh, solo queue series starts again and it starts right now. First round, we're on canal. We've got a Thatcher, Dokabi, Mirror and Valkyrie ban, which is an issue because I'm a big Valkyrie crutch when it comes to canal. Oh, okay. Um, sounds like they're downstairs. Am I... No, I'm mistaken. Oh, it sounds like they're this side of the map. Are they playing Coast Guard first? Or am I just... No, I'm just an idiot. Okay. Um, so yeah, for the start of the new season, look, I've got to keep it real with you guys, right? If I was um, if I was young and hip, I would say I've got to keep it 100. Um, my start of the season on my two accounts, on this account and my main account, have been a shambles. I've played 70... I've done the maths on my main account. The 73% of the games have been against cheaters and not even, like... Not even closet cheaters, like full rages. Um, oh, remember, we always check this spawn peak. No one there. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not been a good start to the season. Uh, remember, we always repel up uh, in front of this door, in case anyone's peeking it. There is someone peeking there. Could have got a freebie there, really. But we move. So they've got a uh, what I like to call an ego warden player. I think it was warden anyway. Might be wrong. Um, I don't use the ARX very often, but our plan here is to go. Yep. Oh, someone's destroyed the drone. Yellow stars. Hmm. Oh, somebody went up that way. So it must be where the ash died, right? I haven't used the ARX for a long time. There's a mute jammer up there. One's close. Um, this is pretty much impossible to push with uh, with Nomad. Where's my drone gone? Oh, left here. I can't push that. I need to get rid of that as army barrier. I can't push that on my own. Quick uh, jaunt elsewhere. Yellow ping downstairs there. Ping that drone because if it's a mozzie drone, it will appear yellow. Uh, appear red, sorry. He's just going into museum, I reckon. I reckon he's here. Was he there? Did he cross? I think he did. He, did he cross? I oh, know he must have. I oh, know he went up green. I thought he crossed the museum. My bad. I played team. I've done. I've done loads there. Been a real asset to the team there. Um. So we go again, right? They're going to be. Could be upstairs again. Should we try something different? I feel like we always play nomad on that site, although. I also feel like you've got to have a Nomad. I'll tell you what, let's still play Nomad because it's a really crucial part of what you need to do on that site. But also, let's do something different. Let's play... Let's change the skin up, firstly. Key part of the round. And we'll push from a different place. Let's push up Red Stairs from Museum, I think. I think that's what we'll do. So, what have you had for dinner? That's the big question. I haven't had that lemon chicken thing. Don't panic tonight. It has been a wonderful dinner. Tonight was sausages, mash, and beans, which is, it's got to be, it's, I mean, it's a bit, it's a little bit childish, I know, but it's, in terms of dinner that you can make at home, that's home-cooked food, that is just easy breezy and incredibly tasty, I don't think it gets much better than sausage, mash, and beans, and little life hack, put a little bit of Worcester sauce in the mash, and like just, not a handful, a handful's too much, but just... And, and a pit, right? So a handful is too much, a pinch is too little. So work out in between those two, right? Of grated cheese into your mashed potato, along with that Worcester sauce, it'll blow your head off. Thank me later. So that with the sausages, Cumberland sausages, obviously, with Heinz beans. Incredible. Incredible food. So we're going to go and put these nomads down again as before. I'm concerned about... Um... The 
door that we always try and not get shot from as we repel up here. Always make sure you repel in front of this. And then you can peek it step by step. No one's there again, thankfully. Well, someone was here last time, so let's see if they're there again. Can't see them. Let's get that above the door. Now we'll head over to museum. Assuming that is, they're upstairs. Although, what are these boys doing? Yeah, I think they are upstairs. I think they're just pushing downstairs for a bit of a change. Although, Buck has got to kill the... Uh... That must be incredible drone work from the boys. Although, why is next one one pushing that? I don't know. Not sure what's going on there. I hope he's not cheating. A bit of a mad thing to push. Let's have a quick look. How have I missed that then? I'm just going to red. I wish you could get that cam from here. Can you, you can't get an angle on it, can you? He's going to go and peek top green here. I need to push up one or the other. Ah, I had a feeling he was going to peek. He's going to bottle this. Oh, I really, but I've really bottled it, lads. I really bottled that. Right, let's check out this book, see if he's cheating. He's droning, which is a, usually half a good sign. I don't think he's cheating watching what he's doing. He doesn't... Oh, dear. Whoa. I don't think the book's cheating. I could be wrong, but he it's not got the usual movements of a cheater. I like to think my cheat radar is pretty decent, um, so I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. Right, so we did something different there. They're definitely... This is what every team does, right? You lose the top site twice, and then you go downstairs, what everyone does. So on this site, you know what we're going to do? We're going to mix it up, right? We're going to get on the entry. We don't play entry very often, especially on this series, because I'm not very good on the entry, frankly. Uh, let's just have a quick look at this guy's stats. By the way, I've played three games and played... Uh, sorry, played four games, played three cheaters on this account. So don't look at a 25% win rate and a 0.44. Um, he's got a 0.88 and a 53% win rate. It doesn't look like a textbook cheater account, if I'm honest with you. So let's cross our fingers. Although, mad to push the basement there. Although, I quite easily could have just had a drone and it's just well played. So let's not get too... That's the problem, isn't it, at the minute that... The sort of player base is so flooded with these absolute cretins that someone who's legit and having a good game and, and done a good bit of droning, if that is the case, I could be wrong, but if they have done a good bit of droning and you're like, Whoa, what, what, he's, he's cheating then. Huh? Like, he's literally just played well, like, done a great bit of droning, found out where the roamer is, isolated the roamer with two of them. The Twitch and the book went downstairs, I think it was Twitch, went downstairs and isolated the roamer, and I'm going, oh, is he cheating? It's mad, isn't it? That's what's happened to... The way you think at the minute because of the nature of what everyone's been doing. Yeah, anyway, they are basements. We're going to go in here, up here, across Newbridge, down yellow, three kills on the ash. 34 year old entry, breaking records. Don't know what the records are, but let's just pretend we're breaking them. Can't see the camera. 34 year old can't see default cam because his eyes aren't working like they used to. But it's definitely there. There we go. Uh. Oh. There's one in the museum. See his feet there. I might be able to see him if I go prone. Ah! Oh, he's only prone. I'll play it solace. Shouldn't have gone so close to the barricade. We live and learn, don't we? I hate hindsight and siege. You know, when you look back on them around and you're like, I did just not gone so close there. We'd have been okay. Is that next one 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 one? Let me. Oh no, that won't be a streamer name because it wouldn't be. All be just be ones. I was just wondering whether it was part of the YG boys, and then it makes sense as to why they were droning so efficiently. That's a poor round for me there, lads. That's why I don't go on the entry. Although, then again, you can't really enter in solo queue, to be honest with you, because you need someone to drone in for you, and you can't do that on your own. Although, knowing where that soloist was, probably should have uh, played that a bit better. Moved away from the barricade, for one. Not the best drones here. We've got one down in the, um, the basement tunnel. 
2v4 from the lads though. Come on the bosses. The diffuser has been recovered. On lockers. He's not been distracted by it, all of that. Osfinka slow walks down the side. Oh, he's just heard the dock in bathroom to the right. Oh, unlucky. He's gonna run out of bow yet. Well spotted. Really well played from the Finker there. Didn't panic, didn't take that goo mine out straight away. The Zof's still baiting on these windows. I'll stay on this drone for uh, There's one in bathroom where you just look, mate. Over by the shower. Right to your right as you go in, Finker. Probably going to blame me for sound, though. Happened to me earlier, you know, I tried to make a call out like that and someone said oh, it was my fault they died because they couldn't hear the guy's footsteps. No way! It's an unreal shot. Nice tracker. Oh, nice shot. This is the state of the, uh... <laughs> nice, all crying. Hey, you're the one who keeps typing more than anybody else. Shut up. Right, I need to pull it out the bag on defense here, because we're one and two, and that's not good enough. Improvement required. Shall we do the mirror? Oh, no, mirror's banned. Do we play Cade? No, we're going to play Legion top green stairs. I'm an avid believer of this strategy. See if we can get it going. I also believe... I'm, I'm Well, not. I haven't tried it yet. I'm thinking about putting a rotate at the top of green stairs into the corner of server where the hatch is. I'm wondering if you can get around that way rather than going through the door and then you can peek onto Newbridge easier. We're going to give it a try and then I can always just reinforce the rotate if need be. So the plan here is to play green stairs. We'll put goo mines bottom green stairs and we'll put... Have I got impact? Secure the bombs. Yeah. The goo mines bottom green stairs. And obviously we'll, we'll then play the windows. Getting rid of friendly fire in the prep phase is one of the best additions this game's had. It's such a good addition. So, I wonder if we can put a rotate here. I haven't done this before. Just a little one. Like this. So anyone... I don't want to open the hatch, though. So anyone that you're fighting onto Newbridge here... You have to go out the door. You can come this way. Come back this way and peek from this side. And I don't know if it'll work. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. We'll see. The good news is, though, it's not in the way... Is it in the way of that window, though? Mm, that's the issue, isn't it? That window's the problem with that. You can just be, Yeah, that's not a good plan. You can just be held on the window. Need a goo mine on the stairs. Just there. Oh, a dread mine there is even better for me. I'll put a goo mine. Is that a goo mine? Yeah. Imagine that's how it shot, be unreal. Uh, let's do one of these as well, by the way, whilst we're here. Just a little one of them. Oh, not far enough. Still one of them. Ooh, what was that just came in? Nade from the window. Blitz pushing. Oh, that's a head, isn't it? That is a head. That's definitely a head. <laughs> a head? Oh, I think that's a head, yeah. Sticking with one of them down there. One uh, That's unreal, isn't it? Didn't realise that. I was like, is that? I think that might be... I don't even know which operator it would have been. Was it maybe Finker? It looked like Thorn's head, but obviously it couldn't be... Couldn't be Thorn. Where's he died there? Do you peek it again? That's the question. We do, and we nearly got something from it as well. I have to remember we're on a soft wall here, though. That's new bridge, by the way. Drone coming in from somewhere. Oh, I'm flashed. No, 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 no. One, one downstairs uh, 90. Downstairs 90 is just cool. Wait, 
Where's that goo mine? Poor. That wasn't a very good shot, but we got there. I wonder what he was calling red from. Maybe he had the, the 90 cam up downstairs. Must have been, right? Better round there, innit? Better round. Um, <laughs> where are you running? What's that meme? Why are you running? I think we... Oh, Valk's banned. I'm going to get some mozzie on then, I think. We get, no, um, no, let's get some mozzie on. Um, do we play mozzie Roni or do we play mozzie Commando? I rate the Commando as a gun, you know. And you know what? We're going to give it a go. People sort of shit on the, um, the Commando a little bit because the Roni is so... Um, such a headshot machine, but I'm going to give the uh, commander a go. We need to get upstairs quick. We need a drone to use that pre-placed above pipes in printer. So we need to get a drone quickly. Maybe trench door, we stick a pest, and then we run upstairs to get the hatch, and we stick a, a pest in... Um, where are we going to spawn? Please be close to trench. Protect the bomb. Or not. No, that's not too bad, actually. Whoa, what just happened there? Let me just get up here quickly. I can't believe there hasn't been a drone come through either of those two places. Unreal drone discipline. I actually don't always agree with reinforcing this, uh... Reinforcing that hatch. Shoot, in radio. No, I won't put that there yet. In fact, you know where we'll put that? We'll put that there. More and more people are leaving that unreinforced now, although we've reinforced... Where's that... Oh, that's a thorn trap. Um, I need a... Uh, I need a drone to be able to put that pre-placed C4 here. I really like the commando, you know, it's so nice. Deploying this, these head holes here are really good to be able to hold main from here. Really solid. Next is... A, I'm having a good gate. Oh, he's 6 and 3, I thought he was higher than that. Mozzie there, warden there, sorry, just waiting for the uh, drones to come under the barricade. Love that. Why have we not got a, a drone yet, though? So this is... Okay, Doc. This is the time where... This is the this is the time where you haven't seen any action for the first minute of the round, and it's easy. It's easy to start getting a bit excited and start pushing things a bit more. Nexus died on yellow. But, uh, Probably gone upstairs. Incredible C4. Bro, you Sorry, mate. I got the kill though. Yeah, I got the kill though. That's the that's the important thing. Sorry, mate. Okay. You did thing good, is... bro. You did good, bro. Thank kill you, you thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that, man. No, I do appreciate that. Team kill. That's an absolutely incredible C4, by the way. I knew he was going to go up yellow and into. Uh... Come on, let me help you up. Sounds like he's above me. It was above me. GG boys. GG boys. Incredible sounds. Good game. Have I given it the GG? I haven't given it the GG. Give it a GG there. We'll play boys. Uh, I'm not, I don't think I'm too worried about next. Maybe I could be. I don't think I am though because his stats aren't great and he's 7 and 4 which is a completely normal rank score. Were they fair? I'm going to give these boys some guidance on the old YG lads. Thought they were excellent. Boom, there we have it. First game of solo queue for the new season wrapped up. Um, I thought Neville was in the room. Nev? Oh, Neville is in the room. Bear with me. Hey, buddy. Ah! <laughs> I'm just going to say hello to everyone. Nev must know by now that it's solo queue Monday. We're into copper three on the season. That notification, by the way, someone just followed the Twitch channel whilst I was recording this video. So it's just made a noise. Let me just go back to the main menu so I can uh, stop all these noises. Right, boom, what do you think, Nev? Was that a good good solo queue game? The attack side of things was a bit poor, wasn't it, really? We had a good a good round on Legion. We got a good C4 playing uh, playing Mozzie. Not the best attacks. Improvement required on the, on the attacks, for sure. Um, I think we'll get a, a high five from Nev. Yeah, thank you, mate. So yeah, improvement required on the attacks, I think. Um, I'm a little bit disjointed with the game this season because I, I don't want to play 75% cheaters. I'm hopeful, and I, I do know 
because I've spoken to, I messaged a few people at Ubisoft saying like, man, what's what's going on? And they have they sort of said, don't you worry, we're working on it as quick as we can type thing. And somebody made a great analogy to me. Uh, made an analogy, made an analogy to me. Somebody talked about an analogy to me, which was a great analogy, I thought, for cheating, which is what's, which is what's giving me hope. They said, working an anti-cheat team is like being a firefighter, but you can only put out fires with extinguishers, okay? So, you don't know what fire you've got to put out. Oh, You don't know what fire you've got to put out until that fire is already in flames, right? So, say, for example, you go to, to, you go to a fire. He's got my headphone cable. Say, for example, you go to a fire, and that fire is a paper fire. So, you only... Sorry, hang on, let me move him off the knee. Come on. So, you only, that fire is a paper fire. So you only need a water extinguisher, for example, whatever, to put the fire out. The next day, there's another fire, and you think, right, I've got the extinguisher, no problem. Turns out this fire is an electrical fire. Therefore, your water extinguisher isn't going to cut it. You need to come up with a different extinguisher. But you didn't know that until that electrical fire was was born, if you know what I mean. So that's a little bit like what working in an anti cheaters team is like. It's just a constant game of cat and mouse. You don't know what you've got to beat until it's there to beat, and the stuff that you used to be able to beat that with now doesn't beat that, and you've got to work on something else. It's a nightmare of a team and a nightmare of an industry to be in, um, but I do know that not only Siege, many other FPSs especially are played with this at the moment, and trust me, the team is doing everything they can. I still get a little bit frustrated because... You know, I'm still spending 74%, 73%, 74% of my time playing cheaters. But I'm not getting downtrodden. I'm trying to remain positive because the game itself at the moment is the best it's ever been in terms of meta, in terms of the different the way different operators interact. I think Tuberow has been a great addition. I'm staying positive and I'm hopeful. That, and it's just one cheat as well. I'm not going to say the name of it because I don't want anyone else getting a bit too fruity and getting involved with it. But it's, it's one cheat that's causing a real problem at the moment. And the minute that cheat's extinguished, the minute we find out what extinguisher we need to f*** that cheat off, <laughs> then the game's going to be fantastic again. And it still is. The game itself is great. Meta is great, like I say. Anyway, welcome back to Solo Queue for Year 8 Season 4. Appreciate you watching. I'll be better on the attacks next time. Thank you very much for all the love on the channel recently, especially all the kind words on that comp game that we put up on the last video. Everyone's super kind and... I'm really lucky, I, no one's got this far in the video, I imagine, but I'm really lucky in the sense that we are sort of building a community on YouTube here, which is difficult to do, a lot more difficult than it is on Twitch, but we are building a community. I keep seeing the same names on, on YouTube pop up commenting, and I really appreciate it, um, but everyone's so positive, man. I'm really, I see some other YouTube channels, and I look at the comments, and everything's like, oh, L this, L that, oh, this is crap, that's crap. Everyone is so positive around here, and I'm really grateful for that. It's a long way that continue, and I'm, I'm, honored and grateful as i say so thanks very much for watching and i'll see you next time cheers